Hello and welcome to Project Nigel, where you'll find a whole host of old knackered rovers and some that are very nice. A cat, a fridge, a bike, all the kind of things you can imagine. Yeah. My video that I want to do today is going to be a buyer's guy for the MGTF, which um, <laughs> seems like a good idea, doesn't it? But in the meantime, I've got some stuff that needs to move out of the way. And also, this 800 here, I want to move it over there slightly because although there's enough room for cars to get in and out here, where I've laid this carpet here to park a car because of all the trees I managed to cut down, it does make it a bit awkward to get in and out of. So, so, yes, so, good old transit face. Still happy to do some work, I see. Look around the yard and you'll see spaces everywhere available for cars. Yet I turn up in the morning, I move one car and I turn up in another and they're in not spaces. But that's fine because it's a temporary thing. But there is a space over there and there is a space, at least one space there. And now there's one there. And it does strike me as quite a good place to leave a car that's not likely to be going anywhere for a while just there and uh, here's a likely candidate so I want to move this car from there to there not much of a job really is it but we know what's going to happen it's not going to start because the battery isn't fully charged so how long will this take well that isn't going to be enough I know it's not so I've got the old top done thing I'll just do the usual thing of get it going, but then move it only uh, about 10 feet. I thought that might have been enough. That battery really does need to go on charge before it becomes a dead battery. So this one's now going to have to go on charge for the rest of the day. I hope I don't need it for something else. So uh, I want to do a buyer's review of the MGTF. Uh, not that I think I'm an expert on it, but not this one. I'll do it with that one. Get yeah, the roof down, because if I'm going to back this car up, I want to be able to see where I'm going. I also don't want to be deafened or poisoned. Whoa. That was a big bang doesn't seem to want to start does it uh, maybe I should just check that um, cylinder again make sure there's no water got down there well oh dear it's done it again it's full of water in there but is it just from the no I was gonna say is it is it just from the leaky roof because it it is leaking quite a lot probably not well that's an awful lot of um, <laughs> water in there. Actually, I forgot my magnet. Yes, I need my magnet. Whoa. Normally this car seems to be quite happy to start, but today it doesn't really uh, want to play ball. Maybe it's run out of petrol. 
this is what's so difficult about being down here trying to make plans and things like this just suddenly decide that they're not going to work so and i've got to get to the bottom of why this isn't working before i can move it unless i took it out of the way i was really looking forward to doing this buyers guide on the mgt app as well and uh i'm not sure i'm going to have time today because if i carry on trying to fix this i'm going to be here for ages if i pull it out of the way i've got hassle there then i've got to get that one going and clean it i've got to clean it yet it's filthy just sat down with this plastic dish full of chili and i can hear the gate over there and uh do i dare go and investigate do i dare stay up there magpies nothing maybe someone from next door has just seen me walk out with a plastic dish full of chili and thought let's mess about with the gate i'd do that i'm going to give it another go but i don't have my hopes up i'm thinking what i'm probably going to have to do now is is enlist the help of transit face to uh, just simply pull it up out of the way and uh, just to pull the other one out then I can roll that down into the dead corner and forget about it not entirely forget about it obviously <laughs> too difficult and I will say that this has the most lovely sounding K-series. I have mentioned that before. Oh, hang on. Uh, I just remembered something else. Okay, balls, this is all gone wrong. I've just stalled it and I've just stalled it because the, the clutch is sticking down. Uh, I did notice it was quite stiff the other day actually. Anyway, now of course the battery has not got enough power in it to actually keep going again. So I need to investigate this now. Oh dear. Down there, that's the clutch pedal of course. And it's um, not coming back up properly as it should do. It will just spring up any second now. Especially if I press it again. Put it there. It's not really uh, suitable though for driving, is it? finally moved it. I know it had a clutch problem before this car, a uh, clutch slave cylinder. Um, so maybe that's gone wrong again or maybe it's just a sticky pedal. Let's hope it's just a sticky pedal and if I just keep moving it around it'll free itself up and the magic of optimism will prevail. Uh, you stay there for a bit. Oh let's not forget this. I was all up for doing one of these uh, another one of these kind of montage videos of all the stuff that goes on during the week but the amount of hassle this has been today, I think it may well be its own MGTF fiasco video. Well, that seems to be sorting itself out now. So at last, something positive.
the TF fiasco, the MGTF day of hassle, the, the biggest waste of a day I've ever TF in art. Oh god, I've got almost, I just realised I've got almost no petrol in this car as well. Thank you.